isometric drawing tree. Given the elevation, the plan and the end view of the solid. That's this piece here. Now, the elevation, this is it here. The pink surface is there. The red surface is there and the blue surface is the front surface here. Now the plan looking directly down on it, that's what we see there, all the surfaces, and the end view is the same thing. This piece of timber here, the width from there to there is 80, the length of that piece there is 100, and the thickness is 20. So go over 30 degrees. And 30 degrees measure along each of these lines that's 120 and 80 here and draw those lines that's the block now complete now the other block we assume it's going to be square so that it's not cut off here so it's 15 into where the block is measure 15 from the corner draw across the piece and the width of this new piece is 50 and then complete the block now the height of it again 20 high and lining the piece as if the corner wasn't cut off it. Now it's cut at 60 degrees, but we can't use a 60 degree set square in isometric like this. That's 60 degrees already. So to get the slope, we set the compass to that distance from there to there. So step it off on your new drawing and draw vertically up there and then it's just a matter of joining the points across and that gets you what the block looks like when it's cut now this front surface on the base piece is cut at 60 degrees but again we can't use the 60 degrees that square so we measure that distance set the compass from the corner of the piece into where the cut starts and mark it off in your new view and that's the point we're looking for to get the angle draw back to get the line at the far end and join those two points and that's your drawing lightly lined in now line in your drawing and add a little bit of color to it and that's isometric drawing tree complete